I see Max, uh, the mobile art community experience, um, more than a traveling concert stage, but a stage that is trying to tell its own story. It, it is sort of a character. <laughs> It was a surprise for me coming to the States that the traveling stage idea is not as present. Because in Europe there's a lot of street theater festivals and like and, and traveling troops. And, and in South America there is a, a bunch of examples. In Mexico, you know, e equally the same and not in the United States. And it's always been intriguing for me, but uh, a matter that's something that perhaps could be solved, that's what I thought. And um, I always also wanted, as soon as I, I, I got to a place where I think this kind of idea was really needed, uh, I would kind of try to push for it. The Mobile Arts Community Experience! <laughs> getting, getting an award like the one that we get from the Knight Foundation is as humbling and, um, and also make you proud. Knight Foundation's work in Charlotte is really focused on how we attract and retain talent, expand opportunity, and increase civic engagement. So when you think about what Max has the potential to do, it would be all of those things. The, the one thing about Charlotte that's so interesting and uh, I mean, it's what's happening today is that we're growing so fast. And when you grow fast, you're bringing in diverse uh, cultures, uh, communities. With Center City Partners, you know, we are about that urban core, uh, but those folks tend to live a little outside of that core. And so trying to find a way to bring them together to experience what um, Charlotte is and has to offer uh, is something that I think Max is going to really afford us. You think about who the best partner was for a project like this, and I think the University of North Carolina at Charlotte was really the right partner. One, you've got all this creative talent, um, and then you've got a long-standing engagement uh, with students and faculty in many of the neighborhoods in Charlotte. <laughs> One of the things that's been a nice outcome of the process is that we've partnered with Boxman Studios to fabricate our mobile unit, Max. We primarily use shipping containers and shipping container uh, pieces and parts to create environments and experiences for brands, um, marketing agencies, universities, um, and all, all different types of people um, with all different types of intentions. We're relying on them for expertise, engineering, safety issues, all kinds of expertise that we wouldn't be able to address easily in-house, uh, certainly not in a quick timeline. Uh, and they're allowing us to contribute in terms of idea, concept, and direction, and collaboration around details, finishes, etc. It seemed like a great way to use a shipping container just by nature of its modularity and its mobility so that we can bring that experience into communities. I know that that's important to get out into those communities instead of having to rely on those people to come to you. Max has two sides, one that's street inspired, one that's studio inspired, and by that I mean one is about connecting to the population of the city, neighborhoods that we've been working in for a number of years, that it's approachable and it's not high art in a certain sense, versus uh, an interior that might be more of a design office, a, a studio space that we can work collaboratively out of. And that translates a little bit to the two different kinds of facades that we may have. One that is a storefront condition for about community engagement and allows us to be a field office uh, in a neighborhood around the city or maybe eventually around the region. Uh, and th when that f storefront is closed up, the other side will open up to be the performance side to provide an event that we might bring to one or another place places in the in the neighborhoods. I think if it were just a performance space, well that would be good. But I think the fact that it's both a performance and a community space makes it even more powerful. One of the things that we think we will be able to do now that Max is coming online is that we'll be able to go out into neighborhoods that we've been working in over time and participate on simple in simple events like neighborhood annual picnics and events that we could bring ourselves out and help support local activities in, in that fashion. But we might also then 
allow ourselves to be invited in in a number of occasions to continue work that we've already started. It's really about placemaking, and um, Center City Partners is about placemaking, and, and you know our place is Center City, and, and to see how something like this can be used in the neighborhoods uh, to attract attention, to, uh, to broaden our scope of the way we can uh, uh, involve people, especially the youth, um, it's just, it's, it's one of those uh, you know, truly great ideas uh, that uh, has finally come to fruition. I think everything that we present, is, in my, from my point of view, needs to have a connection to the community. So um, it is not only the work that we do to be shared, but it's also hopefully inspiring each community that it touches to kind of be part of it and join it. And then there's going to be a partnership, I think. I would like to be everybody in Charlotte feel that, sh that UNC Charlotte is, is their university. Um, even though they don't come to school here, we are here for them, and I think that's what Max should be. I do believe that universities have to be that kind of resource that works in partnership with the metropolitan landscape in which it sits, so that the benefits of everything that's generated, thought of, and scratched and scribbled on a pen and on a piece of paper here, so that that stuff translates to somebody in some place locally. It becomes an inspiration for a kid in high school. It becomes a way of mediating some of the downfalls of the practices we may have had economically or otherwise, historically. We become a vehicle for better positive change in our local landscapes. And we cannot forget that what we do is for people and to allow people to understand what's happening because life happens so fast. And um, to give them the opportunity to sit down for a second and just together experience something and perhaps ask questions and talk about it, I think there we will be doing our job.